Hello YouTube and we're going to try another paint tutorial today. I have put together a British officer and he looks like he's on the attack and his hat fell off. He's got his whistle in his hand, his pistol, and he is running towards the enemy. This has already been sprayed with a tan paint from the spray can and we are going to start we're going to put some desert yellow on here and we're going to try to keep this camera in a focus the whole time that would be wonderful Trying to paint from the inside out. That way we don't have to worry about if we mess up going back through and trying to get inside. Good examples right here. Trying to get inside, not outside. doesn't matter if we hit the legs or anything else because we're going to be painting over that so it's okay we got the pants now we're going for the top going underneath of the arm good example of why we want to get the inside and work our way out as you can see I'm doing just like that. That way it doesn't matter. We can just go back and hit it again. This. This figure is taken from the British Commonwealth Infantry box the warlords bolt action tabletop game except for the head the head I actually got from the SS German box so we it's nice when you have leftover heads and you can kind of use them elsewhere here there and everywhere and you can do that with anything that is 156 scale and that makes it really nice and it makes it fun Down a little bit more so now you can see we've got our outfit we've got our basic paint on that I'll bring that in for a closer look okay all right so we are going to Go ahead and get the flush tone next. Okay, so this is the dark flush, the Vallejo dark flush. Vallejo paints are awesome. They do great and they are an easy cleanup and an easy fix, especially if you mess up. And we're just going to hit all the skin. It doesn't matter if we hit the socks or anything. We don't want to hit the, the shorts though. But we're going to hit all the skin colors. Because we are going to hit all of this at once with the flush wash. We get all that stuff, even on the inside. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and get that. It doesn't matter if we get anything on the 
the pistol or anything because that's going to get painted later and we're just going to paint right over top of that and you'll never even know that you hit it this is very very basic all right that is good now we're going to go ahead and hit the face looks pretty good that is the dark flush tan and we'll just keep working our way lighter and working our way out so let's see what we got see pretty basic looks pretty good everything's covered for the most part and then we're gonna let that dry and we'll throw on that uh, flush wash next and then we'll go with our lighter colors over top of that. And that'll bring that right out and give it a realistic look. Okay, so here we go with the flesh wash. Bring it up, we'll show you what it looks like beforehand. Dried pretty nice. Might be a little wet still, but it's okay. We like it to blend in here and there. Put it on there thick. When I do 135th scale models, I don't put it on this thick if I even use it at all. A lot of times I don't even use the wash. I just mainly use it on these. Kind of brings things out. You can see how it's bringing out all the little areas, the little creases. That's what we want. And it makes it easier to do, especially with the scale that these are. I mean, you don't have to, but we're trying to get them done fairly quick so that they're tabletop ready. Especially if you're into tabletop gaming and trying to get things done as fast as you can so you can show off your new guys but yet make them so that they look pretty nice and that they weren't slopped together so that is our flesh wash on there you can see all the spots coming out sinking into those areas and that looks pretty good that's what we want and then we'll highlight the ripples with the Iraqi sand color and that will look pretty nice so real quick we're gonna put some of our khaki on We'll do the uh, socks and we'll do the his pack and a few other things. Wow, that had a huge piece in it <laughs> and it just shot the paint all over the place, but that's okay. So here's his socks. I'm not sure what that is. Those are like little blouses or something. I, I think they called them. They went between their socks and their boots. So that's what those are. And those are also that color. Now I've seen these painted a lighter tan. I've seen these painted white. I've seen these painted khaki, so today we're going with khaki. Okay, so that is pretty good. And let's take a minute. Okay, and I switched brushes. Went with the smaller one, as you can kind of see, to get in there because I don't want to 
with khaki and I just painted all that desert yellow okay see this is his little pack thing and we got his where he keeps his bayonet actually that's where he keeps his bayonet not really sure what that is right there uh, we're gonna paint the straps okay that looks good we can paint the straps now because we've already put that flesh wash over everything so we don't have to worry about getting that flesh wash over top because we're trying to lighten it up now so that is all of our khaki colors except for those straps on the front there and we'll get those real quick so you can see they kind of go up underneath of his collar and then come down right about there that's his belt we'll get his belt too okay and then we'll hit over here because that's where the other strap comes down actually i think we messed up or i messed up because it looks like it actually comes right there and i painted it over a little bit too close but that's okay it's all right like i said acrylic is great very very forgiving We'll just hit that right there, blend that in, and then I'll throw just a little bit of flush wash in there, and you'll never know. So that is what we have so far. We're going to go ahead and hit that too while we're at it. Now his belts are done. His sock is almost done. Missed that. His socks are done. So that is all the khaki color. And it looks pretty good. And I'll touch up that. And then we'll be ready to move on. Okay, now. We're going to use the flat earth and we're going to go ahead, we're going to paint his shoes. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to paint this black, but we are going to do his hair. We're going to make his hair brown. pretty good I was up in the air between blonde or brown and the brown was sitting there and I thought eh, we'll just do brown it doesn't matter you can do whatever you want it can be black it can be red it can be orange whatever you want so there he has brown hair now might as well go ahead and hit his eyebrows too while we're at it and there's that one and there's the other Eh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Can I see it a little bit better? I got some, my khaki's still wet. But that's okay because it was on the back of his shoe, so it didn't really, didn't really hurt anything. Okay, so that's what we got so far there. Everything looks pretty good. Go ahead and hit that a little bit. Okay. I fixed that spot in there. And we can kind of move on. You know what we might do while we're at it? We might as well go ahead and hit that right there. But we're going to 
good and hit that with brown too. His lanyard. That way if somebody grabs his pistol, they can't take off with it without taking him too. Pretty slick. So there's his lanyard. That's done. That looks pretty good. Okay. He's coming for you. Look at that. There we go. That looks good for right now. Now we'll go ahead and uh, clean the brush. Get the black going here. Put a little bit of that down. And we're going to get his shoes or boots, whatever you want to call them. They look more like shoes. I'm going to hit those. Looks pretty good. Now, obviously, if you really want to get into this, you can get a desert wash. Vallejo makes a nice one. Or you can get some of that uh, desert dust from like AK and put on there. That way it looks all dusty because obviously they're not going to be that black if you're running through the desert all the time. Especially in a battle. You can always do that. And it doesn't matter if you get it on the stand because... See, look. Ah, because we're going to put sand on that anyways. So it doesn't matter. That's one nice thing. Certain things just don't matter. You can kind of... You can fix anything when it comes to these. We're going to hit the pistol too. Hit the pistol with the black. And then I'll kind of hit that with the either a sharpie or the Tamiya weathering kit. Throw a little bit of silver on there for some wear. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay. So now we got the pistol painted. Looks pretty good. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get some of the Iraqi sand. There's the Iraqi sand. Shake that up a little bit. Put that in there. And then, uh, here, I'll even show you. This is just a Vallejo black that I used for that. The uh, pistol and his shoes. So now we're going to kind of take that rocky sand and just kind of highlight in areas like that. See? I want to look for those bumps just kind of highlight those and if you add a little bit of water that's probably even better because that'll soften it but that's exactly what we're looking for right in there and luckily this is a little wet oops but maybe a little too wet you don't want too wet takes care of those but that's what you're going for you're wanting to highlight this that's looking pretty pretty good bring that down like that looks all right But you see what we're doing here. We're just kind of getting a nice look like that. Someone there. 
you don't have to be, you know, too delicate. You can kind of brush it on a little, maybe a little heavier, kind of lose control a little bit. As you can see, I'm just kind of, eh, you know, just as long as you're barely hitting it. But you see how that kind of brought things out. Makes that look nicer. And that is your uniform. And then our next step, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that military shader on his gear. There's your military shader. Armypainter.com. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of that in there. Very little, because we're not gonna use a whole lot, you know? So it's not like we gotta drop a whole lot. These paints go a long, long way. But there's some there, there's a little bit there, just enough to kind of darken things up here and there. Just a little bit. Always have fun. Oop, hit the camera. I actually thought that maybe I'd be able to paint one without hitting the camera. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe one of these days. Okay. Put some on there, some on there. Not a whole lot. Just enough to let, just enough to give it a difference. You see how you got a little bit of a difference? We didn't go crazy, but it looks a lot nicer. Okay, we're going to have to let that dry. I am going to paint the eyes off camera. And you'll be able to see the eyes. And then when that dries, we will hit this again with some khaki just to kind of bring it back out again. And then we'll do the rest of the face tones and then we'll finish his pistol. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, got the eyes kind of looking off to the side, you can see. So he's running this way, but he's like, oh, what's that over there? Because he's seeing something coming. All right. Now, let's go with, first we'll go ahead and do that khaki and get that out of the way before we start with the head. Well, and the arms and the legs. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get the khaki out of the way real quick because that's going to be a real quick thing. Okay, so we're just going to kind of highlight a few things. See right there. Nothing too crazy. Just, just a little bit, you know. Just to kind of bring it out a little bit. it back out nothing nothing too much just a little bit we want that darkness there for the creases okay well let's go with the medium flush tone first okay there's the medium we'll hit we'll highlight everything we can Okay, so let's get this in focus. Okay, so we're gonna hit the head. We're gonna hit the nose. We're gonna do the chin. We're gonna do his cheek, like that. And then we'll hit his ear. Oop, don't let me hit that camera again. We're gonna hit his other ear, maybe his jawline a little bit. And then we gotta look at these muscles on his arm. Let's hit the elbow. And we got the muscle running up. The trigger finger, a little bit on top. Okay. Now, we'll hit them fingers. A little bit here, his knuckles. Up his arm. Elbow. Down here on the arm looks pretty good. 
the knees. Yep, I think. Yeah, we put a little bit right there too. That looks pretty good. So let's take a look. You can kind of see it bringing out the face. And then we'll have one more, one more tune to do. First, we're gonna take some of the brass and we're gonna hit that whistle with his real quick. The whistle you that you wouldn't even know was in his hand if, unless you were looking. So there we hit that whistle. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Oop, let's bring that back. There we go. Kind of get an idea. Okay. So now that... It's done except for our light skin tan. This is just basic skin tan. This is the one I gotta shake up real good all the time because it's it's a little wetter than most. Okay, but that's okay because this is the one that we really want to blend in real real well. So I'm gonna kind of get that on there real light. Just kind of run down here on his finger and his hand a little bit right there bring it down we'll hit his forehead his nose his cheek chin and his other cheek his ear we're just lightly hitting this we don't want a whole lot because we want that to highlight we don't want it to take away there we go see how that's working now we'll bring it in closer so that you can see what's going on there. But this is exactly what we want. Okay. You can kind of see what happened there. Now once that dries, I do want to take this up a little bit farther. There we go. Once that dries and I hit that with that doll coat, that's really going to look good. So as you can see, he's looking pretty good, looking mean running but he sees something off to the side okay so that is this figure except for the head all built from the british commonwealth infantry so that would be the one that i used and uh Let's go ahead and spray it, and then we'll take a look at it afterwards. Okay, so now it's sprayed. See how it dulled it out? Now it really looks good. Okay. Now, here comes the cool part. All right, remember how I said we'd uh, fix that, that pistol? There's the Sharpie. Put a little bit on there. Not a whole lot, just here and there. Kind of brings out that silver look on it, like it's been used and in the desert. Not a whole lot there. You don't want too much, but there you go. If you don't want to use a silver Sharpie, you can use the Tamiya Weathermaster the silver, you probably use a gun metal too, but the silver really brings that out, makes it look good. Uh, so that is our British officer. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like, please subscribe. Thank a veteran today. And as always, God bless.